All right, so I want to create Python performance metrics and send them to a dashboard, and I don't want to maintain anything. So what we're going to do is we are going to take a Python program. In this case, it is going to be the speed test program that basically measures, uses the speed test Python API to figure out what kind of ping times and upload download speeds. And then I wanted to build a dashboard for the two of these, right? So I took some Python code and I used the open census library with the Azure monitor metrics exporter. If you look in this repo, uh, you can see how I did it super easy. Basically what you do is you go and get a free Azure account and then you create, go to application insights and you create a resource. Okay. So in here, you might have, you, I would have done, Hey, I want to create a new resource. It's in which subscription it's going to be in which data center, blah, blah, blah. Right. And in this case, now I got to remember how to, Oh, that's right. It's way over here. I'm going to abort this. All right. So I created this resource pool and I got a key for it. And then I ran my Python program and my Python program from anywhere in the world can send data to application insights. And what I'd like to do is have it look something like this, right? So the goal here is to display Python metrics and I want to get a graphic that looks like this. So how do I do that? I go down to the metrics board and I say, I would really like to create a graphic, which is cool. And it's going to be in this resource group and it's always a log based metric. Whenever you send open census data, just go to log based metrics and you'll be way better off. And then in this case, I gather several different metrics. I gather the ST server time. I get the ST ping time, the ST best servers. This ping time is actually reported by the um, API. So I'm going to use that. I'm going to plot the ST ping time. So you can see here, these are the average ping times for uh, the Python program that I ran on my Raspberry Pi. And this is super easy right now. It turns out I actually have two Raspberry Pis at two different locations. You can actually do splitting here. And I can say that I would like to do is go by the role instance, which is actually the machine name is always called a role instance. And you can see here that I now have three role instances. I have two Raspberry Pis and then I've got one uh, laptop. And uh, the laptop I just used today to like figure out, you know, what's happening here. And in this case, uh, the way this chart is built, it does fill in. I actually don't care to do fill in. I tend to actually do a scatter plot and it shows me the data. So we can see here it, it uh, highlighted. Um, and if you do multiple of these charts on the same dashboard, the line will move. So all this is, is open census metrics. In a Python program, you could do anything. In my case, I captured a bunch of ping and round trip time information. If you were doing machine learning, you could do training time and all that kind of stuff. You create the account, you build the dashboard, and then basically you just uh, save this instance and you can end up with a dashboard. I'll show you my regular dashboard. This is the dashboard I normally use, right? So you can build as many charts as you want and you can see the time correlation bars move across. This is actually really cool and much cooler than say a product that begins with a D and ends with an E. Uh, and so in this case here, we can see um, that the uh, best server times for the blue uh, are all over the map, but on my Fios connection, uh, the best server times are actually pretty good. Uh, they're pretty consistent. So that's it. It's super easy. You want to build a dashboard. You basically go to application insights. You go to the resource, you go to the performance. This is assuming you captured Python or other metrics with the open census library. You pick the log base metric. You pick the met custom metric name that you generated. In my case, I am now going to pick um, the upload rate. So I want to see what my upload times are. You can then pick the kind of chart you want. In my case, I'm going to pick the scatter chart. And I am actually going to split this because I know I have different cloud instances. I want to look at their comparative performance and that's all there is to it. There you go. Building an application insights, Python metrics dashboard for free at low volume, uh, in all of four minutes. Have a great day.